Guys, the earthquakes keep coming and it's kind of not a surprise since we heard in the last bulletin that the land rise, the land rise has accelerated to 2.5 centimeters per month. Of course, this is putting stress on the cap rock layer. Rocks are breaking and we're seeing more earthquakes. And of course, we have a higher risk for a higher earthquake. So we had November 15th here, 2.0, 1.6, 2.1, 1.5. .1, and it basically, we had also a 2.3 at Vesuvius. And recently we learned in one of my videos, check out my playlist if you haven't seen it, how the magma chambers of Vesuvius and Campi Fligri are interacting. So this doesn't mean that we will see anything at Vesuvius, by the way, but Campi Fligri constantly. And the 2.0 was really, really felt and heard by the population. So the first reports that came in was again, people saying we heard a loud boom, everything was rattling. And also just a few days ago, the INGOE has, um, implemented a new web file where people can report anomalies that they hear, feel, or see. Um, and uh, regarding the, this Brady seismic volcanic crisis, whether it's earthquakes or anything related to the volcano. So they want people to report it. They want to gather these data. And of course, the epicenter of these earthquakes, again, let's have a look at where the 2.0 was. And again, I have to say it every time. It's not a surprise. It was close to Pozzoli, very shallow, only three kilometers, roughly 2.5 miles um, along the coast, the Gulf of Pozzoli, in that area where we have Pozzuoli and the Solfatara area, where things are escalating, temperatures are getting higher, the land rise has really accelerated. We've got this continuous earthquake swarm, despite the authorities saying, well, today it has started, it has ended, it has started, it has ended, doesn't change the fact that if you look at the list, you can go back five to six weeks and it's continuous. And this is, to me, the first time that it really does something like this in the higher magnitudes for a volcano, always circulating around the number two and then going higher. We had a few over magnitude three. So there is no break. There's not really a break. We haven't had three, four days in a row where there was nothing. And this matches with all the other escalating data that we're getting, especially in the last bulletin where the land rise was really going up significantly again. And also the, the gas emissions, the CO2 emissions, the fumarolis are getting hotter. So the residents in the Pozzoli area are not getting a break. And we have the alert level dark yellow. They invented a few more levels so that they would not have to go to orange, which they said in 2023, one more magnitude four and we're going up to orange. Since then, six or seven magnitude fours and they haven't increased it, but now it's dark yellow. And then there's light orange and dark orange and then there's red. Red is Shizzy hitting the fizzy, right? <laughs> Although orange is already. So they're, they're trying not to go to orange because that would trigger indeed um, a special kind of evacuations already. And they don't want to do that, it seems. They have rehearsed the evacuations just recently and they called it by its real name now instead of just saying Brady Seismic, Seismic Evacuation a Rehearsal, they called it Volcanic Crisis evacuate or volcanic eruption rehearsal and they were trying to ship people to the islands of Sicily for example um but this is in the water it's unlikely that we would see if something were to happen an, an, a water eruption because most of the earthquakes are lining up in the Solfatara area and they're really lining up. I've recently reported about this. There is a new fault being created and the, the, the earthquakes are lining up underneath this. And this fault is weakening the Caprock layer even further. But we've so many studies that found so many weak spots in that Caprock layer. And the Caprock layer itself is already weaker since 
there was a magma intrusion in the 1980s has only a third of its strength left, right? So it's already, and now this constant shaking is making the rocks more brittle, is maybe potentially opening cracks and hollow areas where magma and hot fluids could rise to the surface, at least for a phreatic eruption that many scientists think is, is, is possible. But they also say we have to prepare for a magmatic eruption. And they always point towards Monte Nuovo in 1530 that was preceded by a phreatic eruption and then a magnetic eruption. And we just see that right now, especially on White Island. We have these phreatic eruptions and White Island is a tragedy, right? When tourists were too close. So we can't say that tourists are too close here. They're also close, but this is a super volcano that is the highly... The, the most densely populated volcano in the world because it's not a stratovolcano like Vesuvius. People don't really see it. And now many built illegally, but it's been allowed to be built on over the, the decades, centuries. People didn't even know what it was. Well, now we do know what it was. And the current unrest phase started in 2005. The land is approaching a land rise of a meter 60 right now. We've just seen reports the ferries couldn't dock in the current port anymore because <laughs> the cars were higher than the ferry. It was impossible anymore because the land was rising so much. So now they have implemented, I heard the news yesterday, new docks so that actually the ferries could work again, that the cars and the vehicles could enter the ferries again. Because a meter 60, <laughs> really guys, if you live by the water or you have a sea wall, sea walk or something like this, and that's rising up a meter 60, like almost like five feet, it's significant and it changes the landscape. But if you, especially if you have a port or some infrastructure, and that is all influenced by such a drastic change. Well, it doesn't show the change at once, but now that it's so high, it reaches a point where someday it became a problem for the fairies. And that's why this is happening right now. Many people are really, really scared, but they're also frustrated. They're like, we want more information. What is going on, especially the residents, right? Amidst calls from seasoned scientists, well, evacuate at least the red zone, at least Pozzuoli, the 80,000 people in Pozzuoli. The red zone is 500,000 people. The greater Naples area, 600,000 people. So they're doing something. They want to upgrade the structures for seismic risk. They, they're working on evacuation plans if Shizzy's hitting the fizzy, right? And volcanic evacuation only works if they have the 72 hours warning time that they're hoping that they would have, but that is not guaranteed, especially not with a phreatic eruption that can come as a surprise at any time. So that's why there's a lot of controversy right now. There's a lot of calls for government help. Of course, this costs a lot of money. Of course, this is tragic. The beautiful area of Pozzuoli, many, Scientists say, well, make it a national park, move people out, do not allow new construction, but that collides with tourism, with investments that are planned, right where the Solfatara is, where all these earthquakes are, where the hot fumaholis are, where they're melting down roads, they want to build a hotel, you know? So it's not that easy as it seems, but our hearts go out to the residents that are being rattled by these continuous earthquakes. And I will keep you updated, guys. And if you're interesting, interested in what's going on underneath the water, our friend Axel Seamount, the magma chamber, has reached the threshold. Very, very interesting. The video's here in the end screen, but also if you want to know what's going on above us, we have the 12th anomaly of interstellar object 3i atlas so check that out as well i hope to see you in a second if you want to support the channel link is in the description thank you for your support please don't forget to like and hype and i see you in a second bye bye